Hey folks, as I told you, the next video is going to be a shotgun video and today I'm going to talk about the S12K and I'm very surprised. How didn't I know about this shotgun? Why didn't I play it earlier? I was like 100% under the assumption that GP12 is the best shotgun in the game, but I was wrong. I have put together this cheap S12K, which by the way, looks amazing. So it's badass and especially with the silencer and it did magic. I played three games in total with this shotgun on port and then I moved to the next weapon and actually I didn't want to stop. I felt overpowered. This shotgun is amazing. And if you have watched my shotgun ammo video, you know that I'm running with the flechette, so I'm not going for the legs. If you are like that leg sweeper type of guy, then it's the type 8 uh, buckshot, you know, the dark red one, then use that one. But I was sticking to the flechette, to the purple one. It, it worked for me because in total I got a loot close to 500,000 coin from the three games on port. What I really liked about the shotgun, besides the overall look and feel, is actually the silencer, because it doesn't make it sound like a shotgun, and you kind of can stay in the dark. So in comparison to DP-12, this is actually a silent shotgun, and still you have the distance. I mean, you can shoot people from far away, and then the firing rate is also great. So it's not just bang, bang, you can like, Bang, bang, bang. You can you can you can quickly shoot and destroy people with this S12K and again I'm I'm surprised why didn't I play this? Why don't I see this shotgun in action? Why don't you use people this shotgun? I mean it's similar to the USAS. I haven't tried it yet. I mean I did, but I didn't do it as like a weapon review type of thing. So just whenever I pick it up or sometimes I play USAS, but not that often. But I play DP12 and compared to DP12, this is I would say even better. So I changed my mind. Since the beginning of season two, I was fully under the impression that if it's shotgun, then it's DP12. It's not, it's S12K and it's, as I said, amazing. In case you think that you're gonna run out of ammunition, because by default, this gun comes with a magazine, which has five bullets, like, you know, the ones we pick up from bots. But there is a bigger version. You have a magazine which can have like 10, 10 rounds or 10 ammunition, 10 bullets. And then there's the big one with 20 bullets. So go for that, purchase one and then put that into your, into your shotgun and then have a secondary one, a spare magazine, same size, 20 bullets in your backpack. Or you can eventually put it in your chest rig if you have a chest rig which has like the two by two square thingy. But if you don't, you know, it still works, you can put it into your backpack. And in that case, you're not gonna run out of ammunition because if you use like 20 shots, you're gonna have definitely time to put that into your backpack and then reload it from your backpack and then like reload the kind of the primary mega. And just to give you details, in the first game, I had a pretty easy one versus three in the center of port and the third player, he was running with an RPK, 65K RPK. And hmm, I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm out, I'm ready to extract. And then I thought this may have been just a coincidence that I got lucky. And then in the second game, I got a fully kitted modded M4, 80,000 or 90,000. And then I even had another kill on port, which was by the way, I think a nice kill. But anyways, I, I did that because I needed the two dog tags. So if you know me, I play port in a way where I go for the two kills. So that's kind of the basic, the baseline. And then I use that extract to get out of the map. In the third game, I was actually also performing nice with the shotgun, but this led to the fact that I felt unstoppable. And this is why I died. So by default, I don't run into the building and then just open the door and bring it on. I'm gonna shoot you anyways, type of mindset. No, I don't do that. But here I really felt like that whoever comes, I'm gonna shoot that guy. Well, I didn't. I got destroyed by a Shori or sh Shori, Shori gun. Um, and then I kind of ended the session because I wanted to play like three games and then come to a conclusion. And the conclusion is guys that this shotgun is amazing. Play it, try it. It's absolutely worth the 30K. That's it, that's it. That's all I can say and subscribe. Yeah, and like this video. See you next time, bye.